Eisner. Trip Eisner. Jaime Diaz. Thank you. We're going to talk about this last week because some trends, trends that golfers mm-hmm. didn't have yeah. uh, going in the right direction got reversed a little bit yeah. last week. Now, one week, maybe, you know, it's too early to start reading the tea leaves, but at least they're tea leaves to read. Yeah. And I'm speaking about, of course, this guy, Phil Mickelson. Yeah. And uh, Jordan Spieth, what a great last round. Yes, um, very And that got him back in the top 50 in the world, which got him into the Mexico, Mexico which is huge. Phil just missed that. Yeah. He needed to be a, tie, a two-way tie for second, and he missed a birdie opportunity on the last 19. hole to do that. Uh, Jason Day uh, played great. You know, a place where he's actually got the best scoring uh, average at Pebble Beach mm-hmm. since 2010. Hard what? to believe that. I was not aware of that. Yeah, He, he yeah. does. He's yeah. the best, and Jordan Spieth is second, mm-hmm. and DJ's third. You think, um, yeah. So, you know, you, you look at Jason Day in this place. He's played quite well here. He's done everything but win it. But it was good to see his mother uh, back with him, yes. and they took that uh, family photo there by the Yes, uh, she looked like, green. you know, she, she, didn't have, great. she didn't have a long time to live, frankly. And, I know. And now she's, you know, restored. Yep. That's wonderful. Uh, and an, another guy under the radar with a, with a top ten finish, actually top five finish, was Daniel Berger. Yeah. You know, he's been, he had hurt his uh, wrist and injury for a while, but, you know, gritty competitor who has won on the PGA Tour. Good to see him uh, trending back in the right direction. You know, direction. the theme there is uh, get well, get well at Pebble, you yeah. know. Feel, yeah. Get your game back to where it's uh, feeling like you're, you're on the up. And, right. And, uh, you know, Jordan, I think that's a good place for him to get well because he loves the creative type golf courses right. with a lot of breaking the greens and a lot of shot shaping and maybe not so much thinking about the technique of the there. golf course. You've said that many times. And, there. And Phil, obviously, he's won there five times. Uh, Looked like he was going to get six. You know, and, and it's a good bob and gouge golf course, frankly. Because the, ru- the rough, it's not that long. The rough is not that penal. During the U.S. Open is a different story. Correct. During the AT&T, it's, it's forgiving because the amateurs are there. And Phil could go out there and actually hit bombs and get away with a lot. And he did for three days. And it finally kind of caught up with him on Sunday. It did. When and, that, that wind exposes, yeah. you know, poor strike. And it probably exposed Jason a little bit, too. Not that he's not a great ball thrower. It can be. But he hadn't been there in a while. And he probably, you know, uh, he's, you know, his last win was 2018 at, at Wells Fargo, and he won that year at Torrey. And since then, this is his best finish since. Right. So he's had a lot of injury, obviously, yeah. but probably some loss of confidence, too. Yeah. But, but on the on, you know, on net positives for all these guys. Daniel right. Berger shows, has shown a lot of promise, but injuries, again, it's almost the underrated story in golf, even though it's ubiquitous still. I, I tend to always forget most of these guys are a little bit hurt most of the time. And you're always yeah. playing around something. And if it goes over the line and it's actually something that inhibits you, I was just reading a, an interview with Roy McElroy. Roy, I'd recommend it, by the way. It's in the Irish Times, I believe, like a, okay. a two-part, very long interview. And he was hurt. He had a facet bone or something, his rib cage, a little thing. That was at the end of 2017 when he was not playing well. He never said anything about it. He said, oh, God, what's wrong with Roy? It's very often it's the body. You've had back yeah. issues, oh, so yeah. you know. Yeah. And just feels like uh, we should give these guys a benefit of the doubt sometimes and think, you know, maybe something's wrong. Physically. But one thing I will say, and, and it was it was odd, it was kind of an odd statement Phil said early in the week about uh, he wouldn't take a special exemption if it offered one by the USGA for Wingfoot, a place where probably many say, I think Marion was as good a chance for him to win, but I, I think Wingfoot oh, was his. because it was heartbreaker. It really was. I mean, uh, you know, he makes bogey, he's in a playoff. Well, on uh, the other thing, Trip, you know, he would have won three majors in a row. Exactly. He would have reached number one in the world yep. in Tiger's prime. Yep. That would have elevated Phil in, in a place in terms of historically higher than he is now, even though he's quite high. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. say he's top 15, top 12 all time. Some yeah. people would put him lower. Uh, I'd say if he had won that, obviously, retroactively, he would have won the Grand Slam. He'd be top five. I agree, so, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That yeah. was a huge moment. And right. uh, he should be back at Wingfoot, and this is my cynical opinion. If he doesn't qualify, he will accept it. <laughs> you think so? He'll say, I rethought it, you know, and it, I just want to do it, and I, it'll make a lot of people happy. It's the right thing to do. He should yeah. play. Yeah. I agree. No, I agree with you. But yeah. but maybe it was kind of a self-motivation. I totally thing, agree. And, and maybe it was yeah. a, a way to get him. And, yeah. and you got to give him credit. Uh, in, to your point, I still don't like the way he's driving the golf No, ball. it's I not think, sustainable. I, You've been out there. I, yeah. I, think, yeah. I think this bomb and gouge, and to your point again, playing two rounds at Pebble Beach, and then Monterey. I mean, these are short golf courses. Yeah. Spyglass is the only one that can bite you if you're, if you're, you're, if you're missing a lot of fairways. Yeah. Um, the other places really doesn't hurt you that bad. Um, but when he needed it most, it came out that he just didn't have it. And, and man, some of the up and down, the up and down at 13, the one where he was, I mean. 13, he hold. Yeah, 13th hole. He uh, hold it. And, 
Well, no, you. I, I'm talking. Oh, oh, yesterday. I'm talking yesterday. Oh, yes. On Sunday. Uh -huh. Now, the, the performance on Saturday was epic. It was off the charts. It was incredible. I mean, guys who Faldo who's seen a lot of golf and seen Seve a lot said that's the best I've ever seen I, in it, one round. It was, and, and, and you would say that too. Out. Yeah, no. Yeah, and it, it and, and cool. they weren't hold out. They were this close. Exactly. And they were and they were high degree of difficulty shots. Exactly. You know, one interesting thing, I, Phil has never ranked high in the short game stat. I know. He's I, a, he's a he's not a consistent, you know, sort of great chipper even though he is a great chipper, but he's not the guy who you bank on to like be a machine about it. But give him a high degree of difficulty shot and he's probably I think all I think he's the best. All time well, best. Sevy, yeah. Sevy might be I, just you know, a little better, but But the Phil flop, that's an iconic shot. It is. Nobody's ever hit that much loft with that much speed yeah. with that much accuracy. Yeah. And he did it on 18 on Saturday. It was, okay. you know, that's a shot he probably hit a million times in his backyard. I know. So it's second nature to him. It is. Well, some yeah. good news for some players. Uh, after Pebble Beach, heading into Genesis. Great field this week in oh, Genesis. Man. This it, is it's Rory. one of the best. Rory will be number one. Yep, Rory number one. So a yeah. lot of great things, but good news for these uh, four players in particular. And good yeah. news for us is we're done now with this <laughs> segment. So if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.